Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Excel 2007 tutorial number 15. This is Rick and I wanted to walk you through today uh, using VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So what I've done, I took a uh, spreadsheet that we had from an earlier tutorial where we had uh, several students and we had their test scores uh, throughout the semester and then we tallied their final grade and, and applied percentages to each one of their scores. And so this is their final numerical grade of the course. Um, but what I want to show you today is VLOOKUP. And so what we're going to do here, we're going to create another column and, and give the students a letter grade. Okay, so how are we going to do that? We are going to make a table over here. We have a score and a letter grade. And when we start with numbers and we're going through a sequence of numbers, you always want to start with the lowest number first going to the highest number. And the reason why is that's the way the, uh, the VLOOKUP will work. So in this case, if they have a 0 or up to a 59.4, they'll get an F. If they have a 59.5, up to a 69.5, they'll get a D and so forth. Um, so how we want to do this is we're going to run a function called VLOOKUP. We're going to say equals VLOOKUP and then you have your lookup value. So what we want to look up is this column right here, their final score, comma, and then we're going to look up their table array. And by the way, do not copy the header row. You just copy the actual data. So we've done that. And then what column index do we want to pull from, right? We don't want to put the score here what we want to do is we want to associate a letter grade so we're going to choose this as column 2 and again it's the column number of your table not of the of the worksheet that you're working on okay then when we do that we close the print close the bracket uh, close the um, formula with that uh, parenthesis hit return and you see this student got a B so one thing that we didn't do and I showed you how to do on earlier tutorial is as we copy this down you'll see what will happen here the formula doesn't work because the table keeps moving so what we're going to do we're going to delete this or the, the table keeps increasing by one every time which is not valid so what we want to do is highlight the table array right from L2 to M6 and we want to make that permanent so you can manually type in the dollar signs between the before all the values or you can hit the F4 key to give them those absolute values and those apps the F4 key will make every cell um, absolutely stick to that permanent uh, table there so now if we copy that down and again to copy it down highlight the first one uh, it's not showing on the screen recorder but you will get a um, crosshash on the bottom right with the nothing's pressed on the mouse right now click it Hold the left mouse button, drag it all the way down to the bottom, and there you have it. Each uh, student now has a letter grade, and it used the VLOOKUP to find that letter grade associated with the score. So if we change some of these scores to really low, you'll see it drops the, the score significantly. Let's give them a even give them lower here let's try a 65 and let's give them a 35 okay so you see they got a 49 and they got an F so it, it will dynamically update so if you go back and update grades or inventory or sales or whatever the information is it will update dynamically for you um, a couple quick things I wanted to mention about lookup functions VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup so here we're going vertically on the lookup or here we're going vertically on the lookup I'm sorry and then if you want to do a horizontal lookup like if your information is going in a vertical um, I'm sorry horizontal pattern your table you would do an H lookup and so what I'll do right now I'm gonna go ahead and change a couple things here I'm gonna go ahead and put I'm going to go ahead and do that actually. So what I'll do is I'll put zeros F 
is a D. 69.5 is a C. 79.5 and 89.5. Okay, so that's B, A. Okay, I'm going to delete these. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do an H lookup. And now I'm going to make my table, this horizontal table. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to change change the horizontal lookup. I'm looking up again F2, the final grade, and then my table that I'm going to run now is this table. And then I want to look up row number, and again it's row number of the of the array that you're looking at, the table that you're looking at, not the row number of the worksheet. And you hit return and you see how it worked. So now I'm going to go and I am going to make this permanent, make it an absolute value and always refer back to that same table, hit return. And now I can do the same thing, again fill it in. And there you have it, it filled it in. So that's different difference between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Thanks for uh, joining and please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any other suggestions, comments, or, or, uh, or training that you would like to see, feel free to send me an email or drop a comment. Thanks.